Hi, it's Karen Kitzmiller, real estate broker here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And here we are today with our next installment in my own way of, of talking about building my own house and the experiences that I'm going through in hopes of helping you have a great experience too. So last time we were together, we talked about the pre-drywall inspection and how important it is to have one of those completed. Here, things are really coming together. It's starting to look like a house. We have cabinets are in place. They are working on getting all of the tile into place in the bathrooms. And next step here, we'll be to install all of the countertops, the rest of the flooring. It's really getting exciting. It's truly, truly starting to look like a house. But there are three things I wanna share with you today about this stage of the process. First, remember, as I've said in the past, this is a construction zone. So things are not going to be perfect. So don't sweat the small stuff. When you walk into your house and you see things that don't look right, it probably will be okay. It's nice to make a note of them, but just don't sweat it. It's amazing how the process goes and how things get fixed along the way that it just happens as part of the normal construction process. Number two is to keep note of those items that have concerns for you. So do make a note, keep a running list, maybe see if you can discuss it with your builder once a week so that he can calm your nerves and make sure and reassure you that everything is on track and progressing as needed. And then if things really are concerns, uh, talking with your builder about getting those taken care of um, will help you sort of be calm throughout the process. The third thing I want to talk about is if you're financing your home purchase, as I am, right around this time you're getting closer to understanding what your closing date, when your closing date will be. Maybe it's 45 days out, maybe it's 60 days out. Your builder will be able to give you a more firm number during this stage of the game. But with your loan, make sure you have your interest rate locked about 30 days longer than you think you're gonna need it because you don't wanna get up to the end and then have something delay the process and now it's gonna cost you more money to extend your lock rate. So three things, don't sweat the small stuff, keep a running tab and open communications with your builder and make sure your financing is squared away, you're working hard to get that approved and that your rate is locked for longer than you think you might need it. So next time we're together, I will be sharing with you a much more completed project of my house. I look forward to that time. In the interim, if you have questions about building your house or anything else regarding real estate, please feel free to visit my website at karenkitzmiller.com or give me a call anytime. Thanks.